So CTDNA and MRD testing are really important these days because these are additional tools that now we have available in uh, the management of our patients with cancer. Um, when we have a patient who has undergone surgery and um, they are really looking forward to understand what are the options. And one of the ways for us to really know uh, beyond looking at the pathology and other um, markers or clinical um, uh, criteria that we've known before, uh, using circulating tumor DNA and assessing for the presence or not of um, molecular residual disease can really help us to decide whether a patient can be on treatment or uh, if we can spare the patient from uh, that chemotherapy that uh, you know the patient may not be looking for or the patient may not necessarily be eligible for and really help us to make those determinations in a much more uh, evidence-based uh, way. So why is surveillance important for patients now? Well, uh, we want to know if the patient has recurrence. I mean, that's the purpose of doing surveillance. So once the patient has uh, completed surgery uh, and they are uh, done with the current, the active treatment uh, portion, we start on the surveillance, which we could last for several years. We have those patients coming to our practices, uh, you know, every three to six months and get blood work and all that. In, uh, in this moment when the patients cannot really have that opportunity to come to our facilities, it's really important uh, to have a tool that potentially we can use for a close follow-up uh, at home. And uh, not only because it gives the patients and the physicians peace of mind that they're doing the right thing for, for surveillance and follow-up, but also because if we detect anything that is meaningful or important, for example, finding circulating tumor in the, in the bloodstream that was not present before, then we can act upon it and really, for example, get a CAT scan or a PET scan earlier than we were supposed to do it uh, because that changes the way we approach those patients um, uh, compared to the patients who don't have that option of having that CTDNA assessment. Actually, very interesting case uh, that I recently had uh, a patient who uh, had pancreas cancer and uh, had a complete resection at the time, but unfortunately we were seeing the CA99 levels kind of climbing up, but we couldn't see any hit on CAT scans. Uh, the patient uh, subsequently uh, had a, even a PET scan that was really not um, like significant. We couldn't see anything. And we ordered uh, uh, a liquid biopsy looking for circulating tumor DNA. And uh, the patient was very concerned about the presence or not of this uh, um, CTDNA because that would mean that the patient may go back on chemo and or was already uh, getting tired from uh, multiple cycles of chemo. The patient was getting kind of just trying to keep the cancer at bay. And uh, once we sent the sample, we noticed that there was no CTDNA for this patient. So it kind of gave us the opportunity for us to say confidently that we didn't need to give this patient at least active treatment at the moment, maybe we can uh, give the patient the break that he was looking for, gave more validation and peace of mind to that patient. Um, and I have another case, which was the opposite, which was someone who had colon cancer that we uh, had not seen uh, any evidence of disease. There was no concern about it, but we ordered the testing as well. And we found the, the, uh, the sequence tumor DNA positive. And once we found it, then a few months later, we were able to find the disease uh, through a PET scan, had a single lesion in the liver that actually was able to be resected. And that really helped us out to um, uh, help the patient in a much more efficient and pro um, you know, proactive way. So um, a couple of, uh, of cases that I think are important, and I'm, I'm sure there are certain many more that we'll learn in the future and registries and having all these patients on studies uh, I think will be helpful, like the bespoke uh, registry that Signatera has. Uh, we are opening that registry as well so we can have better options and, and, and more data for uh, those patients.